Porsche and Fire has shown people that bladesmithing and blacksmithing can be a viable career. It's introduced traditional metalworking to a much wider audience. It's a continuation of tradition and heritage. My name is Josh Burrell, I'm 26, I'm a blacksmith, and this is my father Graham. I'm currently working on a English carpenter's axe. This style of English carpenter's axe started to appear in about the 17th century, and it's the same pattern as what was widely exported to America from England pre-revolution. Quite a lot of this style of axe does turn up archaeologically in the States because they were sent out there by the barrel. Go! 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 When the weather's slightly colder, you can actually see the steam rising off your body. It's effectively like doing physical exercise in a sauna. I've been working as a blacksmith since 1983. Coming home from school, my dad always had a smell of grinding and iron dust and all that sort of thing, and it seems uh, sort of magical, really. That's well done, that is. I'm extremely proud of what Josh does. He's self-taught and very, very creative. That's all the forging done, and then it'll be ground and sharpened. One of the final stages is carving the handle. I prefer to use ash for this as it's traditional English material. I carved the handle initially using a bandsaw. Once the handle's been carved, it's fitted with the blade, wedged together, and then it's finished. There we are, it's all finished. It's got his uh, carved ash handle. It's a proper job. Very pleased with the symmetry of the head and how beautiful it's ended up. Now to see how sharp it really is. no tearing at all. You could shave with that. That's really nice. I'm happy with that. Test it on some wood now. I couldn't be happy with that. The surface of the timber feels like polished glass.